the work is about being a witness, either by design with a specific idea in mind or also as an experiential property. And that the more that you are aware of these things, and for me going out and filming things, is that you become aware of changes, you become aware of differences and things that are in transition. My general practice of making films, which is very much like going out or like being in a studio and drawing or writing or something, it's a very continual thing. It's less preconceived or having, say, a script. It's more like a kind of going out and gathering. And as I go along, I get more images, you know, clusters of kind of shapes of sequences perhaps start to suggest themselves. And as those are edited, the film starts to create its own weight you know, and it has densities that accumulate in different parts. And then once those get to a certain stage, then they just link together. As an artist in residence at the Exploratorium, I've had a few years to work on several projects. The first was called Compound Eyes, which was a series of insect studies. I worked on a light sculpture installation called Night Signals. And then since then I've been working on a film that could, in an impressionistic way, try to study the environment that the Exploratorium, the new Exploratorium, is moving into. This area of the piers closer to the Bay Bridge and to a different area of San Francisco and what that kind of not necessarily meant for the Exploratorium, but what that space is like. But then also historically, you know, the different kind of streams of time of the use of the bay in terms of industry and whatever its, you know, natural environment is. The way that I enjoy working is starting from zero, you know, even every day. And even if you have a, there's a continuum of a thought process and a kind of way you're approaching a specific project, I still try to start with nothing each time. And so I always find a kind of struggle, you know, and part of the learning process is trying to put together ideas on the spot and also perhaps learning to adapt. I often try to, to shoot in a way that's not about getting the perfect take, but more like in drawing, like trying to get a very true, genuine line. I like the idea of, of really trying to make that line in the first moment, so it's a kind of genuine mark. I think I like film because I'm, I'm just struck when I see something that's very beautiful and I'm, I find film very beautiful. When I see a red on film, I just feel startled. It's, you know, it's like an emotional response. Also, the fact that film is this finite thing, it's, it's kind of precious in a way. And so it has a fragility and I find that is, is something that's very much like experiencing things, that things are, happening around us and passing us by and temporary. And film is a kind of temporary element which reminds me of the original experience and I guess that's something that I, I find genuine.